Hi, I'm Nate Cook. I'm a graduate student at Rice University and we're shedding light on Alzheimer's proteins. So we study the uh, amyloid beta protein, which is a, a protein that's thought to be one of the causative agents of Alzheimer's disease. Here we have two very different forms of the amyloid beta protein. They, they look es essentially indistinguishable. And so we need to use probes like uh, fluorescent molecules, which we're doing in this publication, uh, to just to distinguish between the different forms of the protein. We're using fluorescent molecules with basically are molecules that absorb light and when they absorb light they basically absorb energy and uh, after they absorb that energy then then they emit that energy as a form of light too. These two vials here uh, what you're seeing are sort of the centerpiece of our research. Uh, the vial on the left contains the the amyloid beta it's the protein that's thought to cause Alzheimer's disease and then the vial on the right here is the ruthenium uh, complex that will uh, when we put it in solution with the amyloid will luminesce brightly and we can use to study the aggregation of the protein. And that's sort of the whole point of this assay is that in monomer solution of the amyloid beta protein we have no fluorescence and as it transitions into a large aggregate uh, we see greater and greater fluorescence up to a 50 fold increase. What we are using is this property of these compounds to being able to monitor an effect that we will not be able to see with our own eyes. As we have this protein, but we don't know why it causes Alzheimer's disease. So we need to know how it works in order to know how to treat it.